Voting in a historic election can come with a price, just as those who voted in Milwaukee. Some waited in line for more than two hours just to cast a ballot. So why did it take so long? And are changes being made for next time? Our Ben Hennelman spoke with the Election Commission. <laughs> Moving at a snail's pace, the wait to vote so long in some places in Milwaukee Tuesday night. Voters were still there at 930 well after the race had been called for Governor Scott Walker. Um, with the turnout and the number of registrations, um, it um, slowed things down at our polling sites. and It was just a very busy day all the way around. Sue Edmond of the Milwaukee Election Commission admits they had their hands full. We had an ample supply of ballots, but s suddenly um, a lot of sites at the same time seem to be running out of ballots. Edmond says she is looking into getting more manpower for future elections. She was not the only one overwhelmed from the recall. I had enough. Got tired of answering phone calls, you know, because they kept calling all the time. You know, it'd be nice to have a little bit of a break, a little burnout. <laughs> Unfortunately, no rest for the weary. The U.S. Senate primaries are just eight weeks away. I feel absolutely bad for all the candidates, Republican and Democrat, running in, the, in those races simply because uh, there is a little bit of election fatigue going on, especially with the casual voter. Chris Hayworth, the political strategist, says we will get a short break from negative ads. I think at this point you take a little bit of a step back, talk about you, talk about your campaign. But don't expect negative ads to be gone long. Work is already underway for the next vote in the endless campaign cycle known as Wisconsin politics. Actually, I just received um, notification from the county that they need our ballot order um, on Friday for the August election, so um, it just doesn't end. Edmund says the biggest problem last night was all of those new voters who registered on Tuesday. Edmund says the number may have been in the tens of thousands. Live in the newsroom, Ben Handelman, Fox 6 News. Ben, thank you. The Cubs brought a losing streak into Miller Park last night, and what do you know, taking on the crew seemed to be the solution to their woes. And the news isn't getting any better on the injury front. Jen Latta has.